Hello, Elisabeth Bolun. Hello, Razesh Sainuddin. So, what are we about to do next? We are about to do a little survey of what has happened to the land since the cows have been grazing here, as you notice. For quite no, a few yeah, weeks, right? There's no cows, so they moved literally 20 yep. minutes ago. It's the... I don't have my watch, the 27th of October today. And they moved in in uh, mid-August. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a bit more than uh, two months of grazing on this uh, 3.4 hectare. Yeah, this is our field number three. And if you recall, that's field number one and field number two. In field number one, we sort of left them alone in this smaller L-shaped area. But in field number two, we divided that into four polygons and uh, moved them in a, in a matter of... 20 hours to 30 hours from one polygon to another. So that's to experiment with intensive um, management of uh, um, what they graze and how they graze. And then in field three, which is a much bigger 3.5 hectares, we essentially let them be themselves, do what they want. And uh, there we had a two major observations. One is that they are still almost always in a tight pack without having to have electric fence or smaller polygons move them. And the second observation that was quite fascinating is that they are actually every single day grazing all over this field in their own uh, pathways that they've created. There's sort of little cowways here and then they keep going over the whole field yeah. several times the entire day in a small packed herd. Yeah and selectively grazing. And in fact, even yesterday, although they were, just before they were enclosed here, some of them went out to graze, uh, yeah, gr yeah, grasses. Yeah, even though they had this bale, they got a bale of ensilage the last few days. Yeah. And that was very exciting. They stayed on the bale for the first day or so, but then yeah. they started their regular venturing out. A bit exactly. less than before, but they still wanted to go out and yeah. graze. And, and the you other... see how yellow and sort of dead it looks, but if you look closely, there's still fresh greens. Yeah, everywhere. And this late in the season. Yeah, and the final point was that they were going through the mineral and salt blocks, licking them, way less than they were in this more intensively managed area, yeah. which seems to suggest that they are selectively grazing the right types of plants with the minerals and uh, nutrients they need at the yeah. time. Perhaps. Presumably, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go and do a survey.